Hello, good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets from an intermarket analysis perspective as always. Please do visit TradeSignal.com, signal to market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can download the app from the Google App Store and uh, the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Okay folks, it's Tuesday uh, morning and let's try and decipher the 12th of July 2016, let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here. Asian markets overnight, you had another stellar rally from the uh, U uh, should we say Nikkei, the Japanese Nikkei, all based on Mr. Abe's comments. Mr. Belanke apparently uh, popping down as well to help him with his potential stimulus package. Okay, so the Nikkei certainly uh, certainly moving um, higher by 2.4%, Hang Seng up 1.6%, Shanghai up 1.8%. We've got the, uh, the Kiwi and the Aussie certainly uh, screaming higher as well. So certainly overall, bias certainly remains bullish. And the market certainly is, uh, is is ripping higher now. The European markets certainly have moved higher as well, but a lot of the lot, a lot of the bullish news certainly has been priced in here. In terms of economic data overnight, or should we say this morning, you certainly have uh, harmonised. Your CPI data basically came in line in Germany. Okay, wholesale prices certainly came in in line. Mr. Carney hasn't said anything of any significance. Uh, you've just had the US data out as well in terms of uh, optimism. Uh, Let's just have a look here. Latest data, no real significance. The US NF small business optimism certainly coming in stronger. So it should help the actual dollar trade there to a large extent. But nevertheless, nothing of any major importance other than QE, folks. Okay. It's all about that Kool-Aid at the moment. Okay, the Nikkei certainly is slamming into resistance now. The USD JPY certainly slamming into resistance as well. So certainly coming into resistance from that perspective. USD JPY. If you look at your daily chart, you can see that uh, we're into that resistance at 103.69 into that Fib 61 into that diagonal trend line. And therefore, you should see risk aversion. OK, you should certainly see risk aversion here and certainly see risk come off in the marketplace. That's my interpretation of events at the present. OK, that's my uh, interpretation thus far in terms of the um, in terms of the uh, Nikkei. It's also into resistance as well. Shanghai coming into resistance too. Uh, European uh, indices, let's just bring up the European indices daily chart, the German DAX approaching resistance at 200 MA, certainly is in no man's land. In terms of the FIB retracement, taking the pivot high to pivot low, you're into that FIB 61% now. So watch out for potential weakness here, folks. Okay, 60 minute chart, the German DAX is certainly coming into pivot R3 resistance into that uh, key psychological 10,000 resistance zone. Okay, so certainly looking at risk off here, you have unfilled gap below as well. And like I said, you're into that FIB 61 to 75% resistance. 10 minute chart certainly looks over exhausted from my perspective. Certainly looking for a reversal with unfilled gas below. Okay. Now, the German DAX certainly is into resistance because the tech all share, which is the technology laden index, certainly is into resistance. Not only that, you also have the, the NASDAQ as well into gap fill resistance on the daily chart at the 4590 zone, so 4580 zone. So again, the German DAX and NASDAQ are intertwined and therefore you are looking for a move lower. In terms of volatility indices, the daily chart of the CAC volatility is into support. So therefore looking for risk off. OK, the V stocks mini as well. If you look at your daily chart, you're certainly into support. Uh, well, it was into support at one time. It certainly has broken lower. You do have horizontal support here and here. OK, for now. So that diagonal trend line certainly taken out the equation. Gap fill taken out the equation, but you do have horizontal supports below. OK, so. Watch out for that horizontal support on the euro stock, certainly holding and looking for a pop higher in European indices. OK, right. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's bring up the CAC mid 60. You're into 200 MA, FIB 75 percent. So therefore, the French CAC is into resistance. OK, CAC mid and small, same concept here, FIB 75 percent into 200 MA. And therefore, look for the CAC to certainly come into resistance, too. So if I bring up the daily chart, the French CAC, you certainly if I take the FIB high, take it to the fib low you're into that fib 75 percent as well and therefore looking for weakness 60 minute chart on the french cac certainly have broken about past the previous resistance zone okay certainly have broken past that but certainly looking for a reprieve certainly looking for a re reversal at the moment we certainly are in, into no man's land really it's we're nowhere really okay other than the fact that you have resistance at pivot r3 resistance that's really the only resistance that you can work off for now there is a key zone here, though, uh, having said that, there is a key zone at 4366, so we need to watch out for. That is a zone that may well be of, any, of importance, okay, in terms of moving the markets. 
4366 certainly caps on the uh, upside okay in terms of the 10 minute chart of the french cac certainly from my perspective you're looking at a potential reversal looking at a potential move lower uh, exhaustion okay uh, you have unfilled gaps below so you have an unfilled gap here okay so this is your eight o'clock candle okay so there you go so you have unfilled gap below there so two unfilled gaps below and so certainly looking to close in terms of euro stocks let's bring on the euro stocks for you stock 600 as well whilst we're here bring up the stock 600 daily chart at the moment you're approaching that fib 75 percent 60 minute chart at the moment certainly looks exhausted to me you've got unfilled gap above that needs to close okay let's look at the rest of this uh, sector as well euro stocks let's look at the euro stocks again so euro stocks in the daily chart certainly has pushed higher certainly has pushed higher past past the resistance at uh, 2920 which i expected certainly has pushed past that as well in terms of the next resistance zone you're taking the fib high you're taking the fib low you're into that fib 61 to 75 percent resistance so watch out for that zone okay you also have resistance at 2980 as well so watch out for resistance there so european stocks certainly playing catch up today interesting how they're playing catch up okay so certainly playing catch up today in terms of the next move okay now let's just look at the european sectors themselves let's look at the european banks first of all so certainly bouncing on the daily weekly chart as you can see so a daily chart coming back into previous support equals resistance so again looking at weakness here now Let's bring up the financials and the uh, oil and gas sector as well. Oil and gas sector on the daily chart certainly remains into resistance, into double top resistance. So looking for weakness here as well. So again, given the fact that oil is still languishing at that $44, $45 level, certainly uh, pushing uh, potentially lower, not exactly moving higher. Again, is, is in considered to be weak, okay, or is indicating weakness. So again, that's certainly something that certainly needs to take into consider be taken into consideration in, in terms of the next potential move in the markets okay folks so from my perspective european european stocks certainly look exhausted here now my uh, current active trade is short cac surely short now FTSE short nasdaq and i'm short the kiwi and the aussie looking for a potential thrust low okay i think that's a wrap be sure to um, uh, check out cfds.com and uh, certainly take advantage of that 25 percent bonus goodbye now